Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Pierre Dulaine and Yvonne Marceau of American Ballroom Theater and the world famous Glenn Miller Orchestra. Certainly we had a quality product. Uh, we had wonderful choreography. We were wonderful craftsmen. Pierre knew exactly how to show off what was being done, so there was intelligence in what we did. We looked good together. Fortunately, we had nice proportions with each other, so even without dancing, to stand there on the stage was a pleasant thing to look at. Our weaknesses and our strengths balanced each other out. Uh, he was powerful and yet gentle. I was fragile, and that combination provided a sense of fantasy that people associate with ballroom dancing. I was living in England as a teenager in Birmingham, England, and uh, I was very shy, very timid. Some friends of mine at school suggested I go to this local dance studio, which I did, and I started ballroom dancing. I never heard about it before. I never heard of it before, never knew what, what it was, but I liked it very much. So from being shy and timid, it gave me the confidence I was lacking. And um, from there on, it just changed my life, quite honestly. And at the same time, you can now wind forward, go forward 35, 40 odd years, Dancing classroom started in that in so much that I went to a school in here in Manhattan, New York City, and volunteered my way in this, in this one class, and that's where it was born. And American Ballroom Theater is a nonprofit organization that Yvonne Marceau and Pierre Dulaine founded 12 years ago. Where's my candle face? And one aspect of their organization is a program called Dancing Classrooms, where they go into over 75 New York City public schools and teach 11-year-olds how to rumba, merengue, foxtrot, and in addition to all that, they teach the kids courtesy, manners, and respect. It also teaches students about how to work together and to um, have a common goal, and especially when they're preparing for the competition, how serious they are, how focused they are, and what it means to them to succeed. Well, I had this bright idea, I thought, many years ago to invite Pierre Nivon to teach at the School of American Ballet. And those of us who've watched Pierre Nivon dance themselves, it's just so beautiful. It is so exquisite how they move. The most difficult thing to teach young people are waltz, tango, quickstep, all those things that ballroom dancing offers. So by the time I take them into the New York City Ballet, They've already had a few years of ballroom dancing, and I can see how it's enhanced them. It's, it's brought a whole different dimension. If you had three more points, you would have got through. I happened to catch a small snippet on the CBS Morning News, and I saw this man in a suit and tie teaching these kids from the inner city how to ballroom dance. So I immediately saw what an incredible story this was, and I tracked down Pierre, and that was the inspiration for Take the Lead. He's extraordinary and his personality and his passion are so contagious that if you're just even in the room with him, the energy changes. Where he adds such fun and energy, the side of the equation that Yvonne fills is class and grace. She is an amazing woman who shows these young girls what it's like to be a lady and to feel good about that. I don't think you can underestimate the importance of people like Pierre and Yvonne. I believe they care with their whole hearts, and, and they get everybody else's hearts involved, too. I, I personally try not to look back in life. I always am looking forward. Um, what has happened yesterday is already behind me. It, it is yesterday. So the journey for the children, as you know, as one knows by now, the, the program is 20 lessons, 10 weeks long, and we take them from not even touching each other to touch and learn various dances, learn about the various countries and music and rhythms. And for me, the journey for me is to see these children develop 
their smiles on their faces, the way they feel, the way they respect each other, the escort position, and the pride they have in their, in their eyes is really, really phenomenal. And one more thing that is really wonderful is that when a child asks his mother, her mother, or her father to dance with them a tango or a merengue, shaking what their mama gave them, th that is for me is my journey. So I see it fresh every every single time, and it's, it's really quite, quite wonderful. So I am willing to continue on the journey uh, that is the journey of the children for now until um, I can see myself in 10 years from now still doing the journey, and I would love it.